Let's move this stuff out of the way too. Now we are ready. Okay, so more snowflakes. What do you guys think about this one? I love, I just can't stop using the designer series paper. So this time I layered three snowflakes. We've got a white, a navy, and a pool party snowflake. And then I used some of the pool party shimmer ribbon because I thought that looked so beautiful and delicate. And then we did on the inside, we just stamped a couple more snowflakes, another tall card we've got for you. Okay. So let me show you the details on this one. Let's see, what do we need? Lots of stuff. We did more stamping on this one. Okay. Let me give you, sorry, I'm going to get all my um, stamps out here so I have those ready to go. I'm going to be strategic so I still have room for my stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? Okay, so let me give you guys measurements again. So like the last card, we're doing a tall card here also with our Knight of Navy base. So along the eight and a half inside, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inside, we scored it at five and a half inches. Tall card, nice crisp fold, love it, right? Okay, next we have a piece of, this is my Whisper White that goes on the inside of the card. This is my standard cut at four and a five and a quarter inches, four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's going to go right inside there. Okay. And then we have a piece of, uh, this is pool party cardstock that measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch more narrow than our card base. And then we have a piece of the Snowflake Splendor designer series paper that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that's just gonna layer right on there with just that little peak of pool party around the outside edges. The only other piece, these are all scraps for our stamping and then uh, die cutting of the uh, snowflakes. So pool party, night of navy and whisper white cardstock, basically scraps is what you need. This is the last one you need exact measurement on if you wanna make it just like this, night of navy cardstock that measures two inches by five inches, okay? So let's see, let's do our stamping first. So we are, let's see, can I find my, yep, I do have this. Because on my Knight of Navy piece, I want to, can you guys see in the right light? I stamped some snowflakes, but I'm gonna stamp off the edges. So I'm gonna put this piece on here for my little work surface. Um, and which stamp did I use? Hmm, <laughs> well, I know I used Knight of Navy ink. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you like this card too. I was having so much fun with this, honestly. So I believe it's this one. Yeah, so let me show you. Right here, we are going to use, isn't it funny now, which one is it? Um, I, oh, I know why, because it's smaller. It's this one right here. Hello, Miss Liz. Happy early birthday, right? Yeah, I think, is your birthday tomorrow? I feel like it's tomorrow. Yeah, now I'm trying to remember on my calendar. I was just looking at um, September birthdays. So, okay, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one right there that we're using, okay? That we're gonna stamp. You could use any snowflake though, really, right? <laughs> yes, tomorrow. Okay, well, happy early birthday. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of sprinkle our snowflakes on our piece here. Okay, so that's all we need there. Then we will also do our stamping of our sentiment right on here. <laughs> yes, you've been playing with this suite a lot too, Diana. Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? Although I'm still having a little bit of a hard time. Like the whole, you know, fall is barely here and I'm playing with Christmas stuff. I don't know. But then you might as well because before you know it, it's going to be like, you know, you're going to want all your Christmas cards made anyway, right? So... Um, what else? Let's see. We're going to grab our whisper white piece. And then I use just a couple more of the snowflakes. Um, and these are just going to go kind of on the inside of our card. Okay. There. So I think that's all we need for the stamping. We can get these things out of the way, right? So with this piece right here, I do have, there's something sticky. Oh, maybe it's right there. Every time I move something onto my grid paper, it sticks to it. I might have, I almost got it, I think. I don't wanna do it too much or it's gonna like um, wiggle, wiggle the camera even more. So we have our banner punch. This is the two inch wide piece. 
So we're just gonna kind of cut the end of that one right there like that. And then we are gonna do some die cutting. So we have dimensional backings that are bugging me. So we are going to use the Hippo dies, right? The other dies that I cannot stop using, all the different labels. So we're gonna use that medium size, not the small, not the large, but the medium, that label one right there. So we're gonna put that on there and then we're gonna cut some more snowflakes, white, Knight of Navy and Pool Party, okay? So let's scoot that all the way. We're gonna grab our new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Where did it go? Where did I put it? Over here, still got the stuff on it from the last card, I think. Although, did my dies? I, why am I so bad today, you guys? Because I need that other die. I have to find, I've got the one snowflake right here. Okay. Where did it go? It's not on here. So that might be the thing. I wonder if things ever get caught. Sorry, that was quite a... Hmm. Well. What did I do with it? I probably like flung it on the floor. Well, maybe this one will be a little bit different. Or when I find it, I'll make that last. <laughs> that might be what we have to do. Because it's not stuck to anything because I don't have the magnetic plates here. So I know that's not the case. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, here we go. We'll do our white. And where are my snowflakes? We're going to use, this is the biggest snowflake die. So we're going to put that one in white right on there. And then that one goes there. And if I ever find the little baby, we'll do that. If not, we're going to use the medium snowflake on Night of Navy. I feel like it's here and I'm just not seeing it, but I don't know where at this point. So we might just do these two for now. And if I find it, <laughs> I'm like frantically searching as I'm trying, as I'm running this thing, like maybe it'll pop out at me. Did I? No. Hmm. Well, I'm sure it's not really lost. I just flung it somewhere. Oh, well. Okay. So here's the one. We're going to fling that in a moment. Here's our sentiment, may your season sparkle, and you can see the little stitching around that, right? And then here is our large. Ooh, so you guys, can you see that? Nope, it's not quite in the camera view, right? So check that out, right? Isn't that fun? So mm, I'm trying to decide, should I have run it? I probably should have run it back through. I'm trying to just be careful because it's pretty dainty, right? But look at that, it all kind of popped right out. And I just have those two, two little pieces in the center. Isn't that so? Love those snowflakes. I cannot stop using them. Okay, so we're gonna try not to, hmm, who knows? That other snowflake is around here somewhere. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm trying to find, <laughs> oh, there it is. I knew I'd find it, the little blue. Okay, so let's cut that one out too. So that we have everything we need. Okay. I knew it was around here somewhere, guys. Okay, so here we go. We've got our little, what's that called? Pool party. That's pool party cardstock, ladies. We're going to put that one right on there. And, oops, catch that in there a little bit more. Okay. Crank, crank. Okay. All right, we'll fling that one too. All right, now we are all set. Phew. Okay, so, oops. Try it again. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I'm making all those pieces pop out too, though. That's good, right? Okay, one more. Ooh, I need a better flick of the wrist. There we go. <laughs> How about those, huh? So we've got our little baby snowflake in pool party and then kind of the medium size in night of navy and then our large in whisper white. And lots of little pieces, lots of little bits. That's what happens with these snowflakes, right? We just get all those little babies all over the place. Okay, I think we can put things together now. So back here, this is what we're trying to, what we're working on here, ladies. Um, 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 here we go. Find my, mm, let's do this one first. Okay, so we're going to put our regular stamp and seal on the edges of our designer series paper. And we're going to pop this piece. You can see, like I said, the pool party just peeks out from behind that. Next, we need our banner <clears throat> of Knight of Navy cardstock. So we're going to pop this one. Oops, there's those little bits are stuck everywhere. We're going to just put that piece 
You guys see, maybe I'm not quite in the camera. Is that a little better? Okay, then we are gonna tie our pool party shimmer ribbon. Yes. Oh, thank you, Philomena, so delicate and lovely. That's very sweet. I agree. I think what um, kind of adds, for me, this finishing touch is the ribbon here. I love this pool party ribbon. Well, and all the blues too. I just love, I love the snowflakes. I love the blues. I love this pretty soft ribbon. So we're just gonna tie a bow. And that's not a very pretty bow, so then you always have to kind of pull your ends and then it kind of loosens things up. So, but you end up with a pretty bow once you play with it a little bit. So we might have to play with it for a moment or two. Let's just cut that thing off. Get that off, there we go, right? And sometimes you don't like your bow at all and you just have to start over. So that does happen on occasion. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> the, the tails keep kind of winging up the other way. Yeah, that one really doesn't want to, it really wants, there we go. Okay, that looks good now, I think. Okay, so we've got that. Now we can actually put this on, actually let's not, because I want to make sure I like where I put, yeah, that should be good, right? So let's do our sentiment. We're going to add some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment. So pop these little babies right on here, right? Throw those away, pick those up later after Facebook Live is done. Right, do, 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 maybe. Did I put that right about there, I'm gonna say? Oh, love this ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I think I'm happy. I just wanted to make sure that I liked where my ribbon was like height-wise with my sentiment. So now we can add all of this to our card base. Okay. Seems so quiet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this piece on the inside of our card and then we're gonna build our snowflake. Oops, we don't need those dimensionals anymore. Everything's sticking to everything else. Okay, we'll put that there. I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. Again, I love working with my little silicone mat. Makes it so easy to not get adhesive all over everything. So we'll go there and there. Okay, so we're gonna put our pool party. Actually, we have to go the other way. So we're gonna do our Knight of Navy. Oops, I need, there's one little piece in there that needs to come out. Now I've got adhesive all over my fingers. <laughs> okay, so again, I like layering these with the points all kind of in the same. I tried to offset them and I didn't like it. So that's totally up to you. But I kind of liked them all going the same direction. So we've got that one and then we're gonna do that one right there. Okay, and then we're gonna just add some adhesive on the back of that. Scoot that little mat out of the way and keep swiping all of the junk away that keeps getting everywhere. So, and then I like to kind of um, curl those up a little bit, right? And then I put one, I've got a couple of different packages going here, but I used, so these are the clear and frosted epoxy droplets. So you can see these are the clear and those are the frosted, can you see that, right? Frosted, clear here, frosted here, and they come in, I don't have many smalls left, right? But I've got some small frosted there and then the large frosted, and I only have, it looks like, only large frosted left here. So we're gonna pop one of these kind of right on there. I'm trying to decide, I wonder if we want one. Oops, I'm trying to get my, yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Did I get the, I'm trying to make sure I got the, um, the mini glue dot behind it there. Yeah, you know what? We have to put one on this one over here too, don't we? We're gonna just do that there. Yeah, we like lots of bling. I think when I originally put this together, I thought maybe these were too big for the middle of that. Like I wanted the little ones and I didn't have any more. So either that or I could have probably used the frosted ones and done it that way instead. But okay. So what do you guys think? Aren't these cards? I love, love, love these also. So ladies, thank you so, so very much for joining me today. I'm gonna do my quick recap just to let everybody know, because this is a little bit different now, right? So this is how this is gonna work. We have those cards and I'll put these out here too. So 
the birthday bash extravaganza is going on now, right? So if you put in, and it's actually not a $30 order, I'm bumping it up to $50. Well, actually, if you put a $30 order in, you're going to get these projects, right, that I demonstrated this week. But if you bump your order up to $50, your name is going to go in the drawing to win the beautiful new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Make sure you use this host code, right? You also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the iridescent pearl. So you're automatically gonna get the projects, you're gonna get either one of these, and your name goes in the drawing to win the new stamp and cut and emboss machine with your $50 order between now and the end of September. So it's all month long, okay? Just make sure you use this host code. Um, I feel like there was something else I was gonna say, and now I can't remember because I'm getting distracted. Because you guys are all being so sweet. That Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. I hope you all were inspired today. I hope you guys have a great Labor Day, right? And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. So I won't be here next Friday because we're gonna go do birthday fun. 50th birthday, oh my goodness. And then we'll be back the following week on the 18th. So have a good couple of weeks. Great September. Hopefully fall treats you guys well. Um, I'll be I'll be online though too. So I'm um, working on the Facebook group too. So um, I won't be completely absent, um, but it's not till next weekend anyway. So have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards and we'll see you in two weeks from today on Facebook Live. Bye everybody. Thank you.